Hello and welcome to episode 125 of my Worm Unlimited tutorial series. This episode will be continuing on with the pottery theme, namely flower pots. So I've been out picking flowers. No, I did not stop taking the meds, I just upped the dose. OK, I'll stop being silly. I was of course picking flowers for the pots, which serve two good purposes. One, when equipped with a flower, they can decorate your uh, location, your place. And two, more importantly, when they take damage, so when you first place them down, OK, they're not obviously going to be damaged, so you won't be able to water them. But when they take damage, then you have the opportunity to water them. And it will do two things. One, that will give you skill gain towards your gardening skill. And two, it will actually repair the flower pot. Now, as far as I can tell, okay, when a flower pot takes full damage, the flower gets destroyed, but not the pot. So you have the pot left, but no flower. That's what I can gather so far. Not having seen, uh, tested that, I can't say for sure, but my observations lead me to believe that to be so. Okay, so it's functional and it gives you your skill gain for your gardening. But remember also, for making the actual flower pot, you will get pottery skill gain as well. So just imagine, you can have a flower pot lined road or a flower pot weld. The only thing you'll be missing, of course, is Bill and Ben, the flower pot men, which is a good thing as there will be no flubberlobs on this channel. Also, of course, on the subject of skill gain, when you have made your flower pot before you harden it in the kiln, you'll want to improve it. As, as you know, once hardened, it cannot be improved. So you'll also get skill gain from when you're improving your flower pot, which we will take a look at and I will show you. So before we get on to making the flower pot, let's have some flower pot information. The flower pot cannot be improved once hardened. Yep, I've just mentioned that. Cannot be repaired unless there are flowers in it. Then repairing can be done by use of watering them, which can be accomplished by filling a container with water, then activating the container and right clicking on the flower pot for water plant. Uh, gives gardening skill gain for watering and lastly quality is determined by the average of both the flower and the pot combined so be aware of that don't go making an 80 quality flower pot and putting a one quality flower into it otherwise you'll end up with a 40 quality level flower pot okay so let's make a flower pot so what are we going to need for that? Well, you're going to need a hand, one of your hands, and you're going to need some um, clay. If I open up my inventory, you'll see, oops, let's close that. You'll see I've got some clay, and of course I've got my hands with me. Let's switch to my uh, clay, my pottery pot bar. Okay, so to make this, we're going to use the crafting window and the recipe window in here. Because it's called a clay flower pot, you'll want to type in clay. When you do that, it will list all of these under pottery. And there is our clay flower pot. And as you can see, it's going to use the skill pottery. So let's bring up the skills window. You can see in the skills window, my pottery is now 30. So I've been improving that a bit. Okay, to make the clay flower pot, providing you've got some clay, at least a minimum of 0 0.60 kilograms of clay in order to make a flower pot in your inventory. And it will put the hand into the crafting window automatically. So let's right click the flower pot, add to the crafting window. So as you can see, we've got the clay and we've got what my right hand because I'm right handed. Okay, let's check that it's the flower pot, which it is. We'll observe it's a 69% success chance, which is good. So let's create. Oh, let's move that up a bit so you can see what's going on. Okay, so I failed on the first attempt. Let's try again. And failed again. 
Okay, so we have a flower pot. Let's make another one. Why not? I find it's always best to have two in case things go horribly wrong, which they always normally do with me. So we've got one to practice with. Okay, so there's our flower pots. Now, we're not going to think about hardening them yet because they're only six quality, and that's no good to man or beast. So what we'll do is we'll drop the clay in there. We'll open up the forge. Oh no, what have I done with the water? Um, I need to quickly grab the cauldron. Now I'm going to walk really slowly. Okay, let's do a bit of improving just here, because if I can use some water, that lessen my weight. Okay, so we drop the water in there. That's all the tools you need for imping the uh, clay flower pot. Spatula, clay, water, hand, and clay shaper. Okay, so first of all, we're going to need the clay. Let's now improve these two. Okay, so now the clay shaper for this one bit of water. What I'm going to do is I'll get them both to 20 I think. That's a good uh, quality level to start with. Well I say it's good enough because I don't want to waste time while recording. If I was not in a rush recording I would get my flower pots to a minimum of quality level 40. But as I am recording and can't spend 10 minutes just improving I'll have to settle for 20 quality level. It doesn't take long if you're only going to 20, that's for sure. 40 doesn't really take that long, but it takes too long to be able to record it. Okay, there's that one done. Let's now quickly get the second one up to 20. very nearly there there we go that's good enough right okay so let's now go to the kiln once you've got got your clay flower pots to the desired quality level the next thing is of course that they need hardening the way to harden them is to put them into the kiln or whatever fire source you have whether that's a forge oven or campfire totally up to you but the quickest way is to use the kiln. So let's open that up and throw them both in. Now as luck would have it, so we don't have to stand and wait for these to harden, I made one earlier. So here we go, let's grab that. Right, okay, so now we have the flower pots. There are two ways you can put flowers into them. You can either, and this is the best way, just activate the flowers of your choice and then right click on the pottery flower pot and plant flower. Okay, that's way number one and that's the way I would recommend to do. The second way of course is if the flower pot is on the ground like so, activate the flowers, right click the flower pot and plant flower see this goes along there we go we've now planted that that's now given us some gardening skill so planting flowers into the flower pot and also watering them will give you skill now oh it will let me plant uh, water okay so once you've got your flowers now I made a couple of flower pots earlier So if you decide to decorate your deeds with flowers, or even if you don't have a deed, if you decide to use flower pots and flowers to decorate your location, bear in mind one thing. If you do not keep watering your flowers, the flowers will die and you'll have an empty flower pot. So it's not really a big deal. Just make sure you've got lots of flowers still planted in the grass. Okay, so let's drop this on the ground. 
with your water source the container active don't do what I did which is activate the water because nothing will happen if you do that make sure you remember activate the container which holds the water and that can be a uh, pot of uh, whatever holds whatever container can hold water you can use it to water with just make sure you activate it right click on the flower pot and then water plant and what we'll notice oh right is what we'll notice is they're not in need of watering because we've only just placed them down but here's some that I planted earlier let's see if I can water them no doesn't want to let me it's being mean because you know worm will slap you down and teach you some respect and the way it's slap slapping me down today is it says that the flowers are not in need of watering so okay there we go you'll have to leave it a certain amount of time before you can water them but when you do water them not only will you get skill gain on your gardening but also you will be repairing damage that has been done to the flowers in the pot and it will stop them dying and that's why you water them so there we go that's it that's our flower pots and you'll see I even demonstrated using three different types of flowers okay let me just see was there anything else I wanted to mention or show though you know what I think I've actually been quite thorough and shown you everything to do with flower pots okay wherever you are oh one last thing before I say that isn't it beautiful that it's all white outside all snow covered as it is nearly Christmas so I thought how apt that it is winter time in game and this is my favorite time in worm because I think it looks really beautiful it's cold of course but it does look so beautiful anyway wherever you are in the world God bless you and keep every last one of you safe thank you for watching and have a fantastic day goodbye